Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Today we're gonna to be making some delicious shrimp and crab stuffed mushrooms and some uh, stuffed lobster tails and some crab dip. These are some delicious appetizers for the Super Bowl and leading up to the Super Bowl. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start out with our mushrooms. We're gonna take it by the large mushrooms. You're gonna stem it, de-stem it actually, just by cutting the center stem out. Make sure, try not to go all the way to the bottom of the um, mushroom, and that's what you have. Okay, so we've got a couple of already done. I'm gonna put these down. Okay, this stem another one. You're just gonna get your paring knife and just go around gently and pull that stem out. And there you go. You can stuff this mushroom with no problem. If you need to dig deeper, you can do that as well, because you want to really get it stuffed. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients we're gonna be using. We're going to be using some mini shrimp uh, uh, that you have to cook them if they're not already cooked. We're gonna be using some lump crab meat. We're gonna be using some Philadelphia cream cheese. We're going to be using minced garlic, two tablespoons of minced garlic green onions, one half cup of green onions, uh, panko breadcrumbs, one half cup of that, one half cup of uh, Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese, one half cup of regular four cheese, uh, Mexican cheese mix. We're gonna be using some Cajun seasoning. We're gonna be using some um, Cajun seasoning and some uh, uh, bay, Old Bay. We're going to be using some parsley flakes. You can use fresh or not fresh parsley. And we're gonna be using two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And I believe that's all that goes into that recipe. So we're gonna put this all together and we're gonna come back. Okay guys, I finished with the rest of the uh, stuffed mushrooms. I took all the stems out and just dug it out a little bit inside there. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to, I already greased my um, spray, you know, with the spray butter, or you can use olive oil spray. Take these mushrooms, place them face down, and you're gonna put them in the oven and let them cook for about 10 minutes till they're like a little brown, golden brown. Just place them on your cookie sheet. I have 16 of these. I wish I had more, but I don't, so. But the stuffed lobster tails will be another addition, great addition to the appetizers that I'm fixing today for the game. Um, so like I said, these are gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes until golden brown, and then we'll take them out and we'll stuff them. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna be using right now is we're gonna go ahead and get our stuffing mix ready. So we got our crab meat in there. We're gonna put in our cream cheese. To soften, you have to let it sit out at room temperature for about an hour or more, um, just till it's not cold anymore and it's soft. And it's soft as pliable. And it's easy to work with. Okay, we're gonna put that over there. Next, we're gonna put the rest of our remaining ingredients. We're gonna put our shrimp. We're gonna put our onions, but we're not gonna use all of the onions. We're gonna leave some to top it off with. We're gonna put in our Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna put in our garlic, minced garlic. We're gonna put in our seasoning. We're gonna put in our parsley. We're gonna put in our panko breadcrumbs. We're gonna put in our cheese, cheese blend. And then we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. All right, so now we're ready to stir this together. So just stir it together. I'm going to use a spoonful to like stuff the mushrooms. Just go ahead and mix all that together while your mushrooms are browning in the oven.
okay? All right, we're gonna set this aside and we'll wait for our mushrooms to get ready. Okay guys, now I'm going to be making some stuffed lobster tails. Okay, I've got my stuffed lobster tails. I've already butterfly two of them. I'm gonna show you how to butterfly. You just take your scissors, go down the back of the spine of the lobster all the way to the tail. Then you're gonna take your lobster and you're just gonna stick your fingers down there between the skin and the meat. And you're gonna separate it just like that. You're gonna separate it so it's not attached to the shell on the sides. And you do the same thing on the other side. Take your fingers, and just go in there and unattach the meat to the, sh to the shell, just like I'm doing. I'm unattaching the meat to the shell. Now this takes some skill. After trying it a few times, you'll be able to get it. Okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna take the shell, take some of the pieces of shell off of it. You don't wanna have no crunchy shells in there. Okay, you're gonna pull this shell out. Just pull it out from the bottom, right? And there you got your meat right there. You're gonna close this shell up and you're gonna put the meat on top. Turn it around. And what I like to do is score it a little bit. I like to just um, open it up just a little bit more. Don't go all the way to the bottom, but just a little bit more. You wanna open it up, okay? And then, the next step is to stuff it. So get some of your stuffing mix. A little bit at a time because you don't want to overstuff it because if you overstuff it, it's just going to fall off. And the cream cheese is what's holding it together, which makes it even more awesome. Once you bake it, you don't want it to fall off. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray some, I'm gonna sprinkle some more Old Bay on here. And then we'll be ready to roll. Let me grab my Old Bay. You can use any type of seafood um, seasoning that you prefer. You can use uh, Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. You can use you can use paprika, which gives it a good color. But Obey has paprika in it, so that's even better. And then when it's done, I'm going to sprinkle some green onions on there. So that's very simple. Um, very simple. We're going to put this in the oven and bake it till done. Okay, our mushrooms are ready to be stuffed. I'm just gonna flip them over. They're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna get, grab a spoonful. I should use a teaspoon. Let me grab a teaspoon because um, it's not, you're not gonna be stuffing that much in there. If I can find a teaspoon. Okay, let me find a teaspoon, guys. Give me a minute. Okay, teaspoon. something that may work, may not. You can also use your fingers. If you can't find something that works for you, just use your fingers. All else fails. Sometimes that's the best one anyway. Some of these mushrooms are slightly bigger than others. 
So of course you're gonna stuff them more. Stuff the bigger ones first. And you just continue to do that. Continue to stuff them. And then we'll come back when they're ready to go to the oven. Okay, I've decided I'm going to sprinkle these with smoked paprika. Just to give it that smoky smoky flavor and they're ready for the oven so just bake until golden brown all right we'll be back when the finished product okay these stuffed lobster tails are ready for the oven don't they look delicious Yes, baby. They're ready for the oven. So we're going to put them in the oven and bake them till golden brown. We'll come back and show you the finished product. Next thing we're going to do is our shrimp. Our um, shrimp dip. Okay, here's the end product. The lobster tails are ready. You ready to chow down, Bella? Mm-hmm. All right. 